here's one Clodagh made earlier. Look at that, that's beautiful. Yeah. Now, unless you're the proud owner of a pizza oven, it can be really tricky to make that perfect mm -hmm. homemade pizza. Mm -hmm. Until now, Josie. Until now, Until Clodagh's now. here to change the pizza game this morning <laughs> using one of these. I cannot believe it, Clodagh, tell us more. Tell us more. So basically, during lockdown, I know none of us wants to mention lockdown. I'm sorry to have mentioned it. But I was doing Instagram videos every day and coming up with different ideas of how to do things. Then every Friday, I used to do a fake away. And then I started doing pizzas on a frying pan. And it was just, it worked. And it was like a little phenomenon in my little life on my own. Yeah, on my own videos. And so I thought, well, let's do it now because it's so exciting to do it. You kind of feel like you're on holidays. The weather is amazing. And when the weather is warm, it's the best time to make dough because it's lovely and humid. But the thing is, is today we are going to be transforming your pizza game with a frying pan. OK. <laughs> so first up, we're going to make the dough. What you need is dried active yeast like that. It's about a teaspoon of it. Both of you look so serious. Is that the yeast? Like it's very thing. serious business. What? Is that yeast? No, that is flour. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, but near enough. So Josie, how much cooking do you actually do? I, well, uh, not, not a lot. Not, not, <laughs> not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> See um, that, yeah. that's lettuce. That'll blow yeah, your mind. Not as much as clover, right? <laughs> that's rocket. It's the same ah. thing, same family, isn't it? Um, so I've got my dried <laughs> active yeast in here, right? It comes in sachets or box. Definitely buy the box because you get a lot more for your buck when you buy the box than the sachets, OK? And then to put a teaspoon in, then get warm water like that, pop it in, and this is the first step to making dough. And I think that people think it's really complicated making dough, but it's not. It's like, it's very, very easy. Whisk it together. You can whisk it with a fork or... Um, a whisk like this and then pop it to the side leave it for about five to ten minutes because it's got to activate right so it all comes into bubbles like this and then give it another whisk like so that that's alive it Clodagh, isn't it? it's alive it's alive it's activated it's alive and what that's going to do is that's going to make your dough lovely and fluffy and make it rise and everything i've got my flour here and you make a little well in the center when you're buying it if you can try to buy strong it's so good right you've got it you've got in you've got, you've got, in, in, you've got exactly. in try to buy strong good. flour when you're buying it right because that will really help with the elasticity of everything you could mix a little bit of wholemeal flour in here too if you want to be a little bit healthy um and then so you pour it all in i made a little well in the center which is basically like a little I mean, when you say strong flour, sometimes like well. you see uh, flour with zero, zero on it. That's for pasta. That's for pasta. You, you could don't use, use that, that for this as well, actually. Okay. You could use that for this. No, no, very, very good point. So you mix it all together, and then I'm actually going to put a little bit of olive oil in here too, which really gives it lovely flavour and also makes it lovely and silky. So a little bit of olive oil in like that. I wouldn't have said that was done in a frying pan, see? Well, it feels like a wood burning yeah. oven, doesn't it? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I'm going to have a belt on this. So what, tell, explain what it tastes like to me when you, when you cook it, like the crust of it and everything. It's crunchy, right? Yeah, it's crunchy and it, it yeah, I would never have guessed the frying pan at all. Because You'd never it's think got, it. It's got the crisp. It's got the under, under it's the bottom It's got that crisp. lovely crisp mm. to it, right? And the thing is... That's delicious is because why it works in a frying pan, and that's why I was thinking when I was coming up with the recipe for it, is because frying pans get so hot, you know, because you've got wham of heat underneath it. It gets so super hot. And a lot of frying pans are non-stick, so it really works, because you can put dough directly onto it like that. So I've put a little bit of olive oil in here, and I know a lot of people at home will be thinking, I could just go buy the dough. Yeah, but you could go buy the dough, and off with you. Go buy the dough. <laughs> <laughs> But it's so cheap and easy to make pasta, so easy and, and cheap to make pizza dough. Um, like, for example, if you've got like a big bag of flour, you'll get like about 10 pizzas out of it, you know? So do, you know do the math so nice on about that. It, we do this on Friday nights. And At home? Yeah, and the kids love it. And everyone gets covered in flour and they all lay out their things and make I their own pizza. So it's that. a nice kind of family thing to do it's on a Friday. It's such a lovely yeah, family thing nice to do. Thing. And even on a Monday. Any day, really, isn't it? It's just like a fun... Well, as well, because all the kids are off school at the moment, um, so every day is Friday, really, isn't it? Well, so I'm, you I'm... say that, I, I, I can never get it right. You can never get it right? No, it's too doughy. It tastes like I'm eating a real thick slice of bread when I do it. But what the solution to that is? Right, Go on shame. this morning app after this, and you can watch back the video. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so now we're going to actually kind of knead it out, right? And this is... Honestly, the most relaxing thing you can do with your day today, right? So I've taken it out. I brought it together with a little fork in the bowl. I've taken it out onto a lightly floured surface, okay? 
See this part of your hand, Josie, like that, yeah. right? This is the kneading part of your hand, okay? This part here. And you push it like that to stretch it. And then with your fingers, look at your lovely fingernails. It looks so pretty. You pull it back like this. That's it. And then turn. Oh, and then turn, right? And then you do it again and then pull it back and then turn again. And what you're doing is you're stretching the dough. That's it, you're oh, stretching quite the dough. It's quite a workout, isn't it? Huh? It's quite a workout. Is it? Well, you're probably putting a lot of attention into it because it's right. like the first oh. time you've done it. Or it looks like she's it. driven over it. But, <laughs> but you just get used to it and just be a little bit lighter with it. So now all of a sudden go like that. But as you're doing it, turn it. That's exactly uh, nice it. Action. Nice. nice action. Well done. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> it is so relaxing. Yeah. It's so relaxing. It's like... Oh, yeah, flurry up there, Josie. Yeah. And then just make it into a little ball like that, right? Like, just like this. Cue camera. And then pop it into a bowl that is oiled with a little bit of light olive oil. And then put it into a humid place. Now, because the weather is so amazing right now, there are so many warm spaces. Like, when I'm doing this in the winter, I'm like, don't open the air current cupboard because my pizza dough is in there. It comes out looking like this after about an hour and it's just so amazing. Wow. And that's what it looks like. Okay, we've got to run onto the pizza. Goes like this. And then this makes two pizzas. I'm going to cut it in half like that. A little bit more flour. And then basically go like that first. Help yourself out with your fingers like that. Top it over, squash it out until you get your shape. And then you can get your rolling pin or your empty bottle of wine. There's always a few dozen hanging around my house. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all like, yeah, at home going, yeah, I can believe that. <laughs> um, and then what you want to do is do the size of the frying pan like this, OK? And you're going to put it on a dry frying pan. But the frying pan has to be super hot, OK? So it goes on like this. OK, Mr oh. Craig Doyle catch. <laughs> Show me your pizza action. See I like to go the steering wheel method. The steering wheel method. Yeah. Okay. So the steering wheel method. No. Yeah, you just kind of do it. You can do it like that. Hey, I'm no Claude McKenna, but you know, I've watched her videos and I know you can do this. And then you can give it a little spin, you see. And then you start stretching Isn't that, it a little bit. That's but clever. It it's also feels good. He you looks like me? Luigi, doesn't he? He does look like Luigi. Luigi. Okay. My name is Maria. Come back to me. Okay. <laughs> so this has been on the frying pan, okay, for four minutes. I put the other one, it's still cooking there. It hasn't been time magic here. It's still cooking there. This is another one that's got four minutes, nice and brown on this side. Then you put on your filling. So you put on your tomato passata first, okay, like that. Or so you whatever flip fillings. it, Cloda. You just no, no, no. You just do one side. I've right. accidentally put eyes really in my point. one, Cloda. Sorry, I've accidentally <laughs> put. I don't want to freak you, Josie. That looks. Oh, like... oh, oh. <laughs> that looks yeah, like the so face mask I put it, on right, in the morning. You can fix it. Right, you put holes in, you can fix it. Okay, mozzarella, chili. OK, dried oregano, salami, and that is my favourite pizza. OK, then it goes from here. It's the last step, folks. It goes underneath a grill for about four minutes until it's crispy and melted and everything is delicious. And then it comes out looking like... It's not going in the oven, it's under the grill. It just goes under the grill for it to all taste up. And I four have minutes in the frying pan, four minutes under the grill. Four minutes in the frying eight pan, minutes. eight minutes. And this is what it looks like, crispy and delicious and good. gooey. Oh, and lovely. Yeah. Honestly, don't worry about not having, you know, a pizza oven. And I don't have one. The smell is extraordinary as well. It's gorgeous. Pan, away you go. Oh, Cloda. How good is that? Thank you That's very great. much. Thank Yay. you. What a delight. <laughs> what a delight. <laughs> gorgeous. It's really good. Thanks, Cloda. Thank you so much. Have fun to make as well. Are you going to do that this week? Probably not, but I'll, I'll just have Cloda's. <laughs> Josie! You know what? I'll just have yours. I've had it now. <laughs> I know, but that's going to turn all the viewers now. off. Well, I just order one. Yeah. Good night. It'll be something else tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be something else. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, Cloda. Sorry, look. Uh, sorry, Did Cloda. you not follow the script? <laughs> the script says, yes, I'm going to make it tomorrow. <laughs> I just saw you were going to do this. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Uh, for details of today's recipe <laughs> and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, please download our free This Morning app. Nice.